So today I'm going to show you how you can bully trig integrals with this unreasonably effective substitution that lets you express trig functions as polynomials. Let's start with the sine function. So this first equality comes from your double angle formula where theta is just x over 2. Then this second equality comes from the fact that we have 10 as just sine over cos, right? So if I do cos squared, I'm fine. And then our third equality is just because secant squared is just 1 over cos squared. And finally, we're lucky here because secant squared is also 1 plus 10 squared. So we do that substitution where t is 10 of x over 2. And we get our first Weierstrauss substitution trick. And now for cos, we do virtually the same thing, right? So our first equality comes from that same double angle formula. This time it's just for cos. And then I divide both sides by cos squared for our second equality so that I can do my one over trick for secant squared and get one plus 10 squared like we did before. And then now we just sub in t and we're just left to prove the derivative. So remember that our t is tan of x over two, right? And by the definition of inverse tangent, our x is actually two tan to the negative one of t. And then we have our final answer by the derivative of the arctangent function. And yeah, we're done.